Hello everybody, Printer Guy here, and welcome back to Terraria 1.2 edition, I believe, that we got now. Um, so I started a new map, I'm going to leave the other one as a, um, as a mining map, so if I run out of material, I can go back there and mine the crap out of it. So, um, I moved all my stuff from the other one to here, and I slowly started putting stuff in and all that good stuff. But one cool addition, <coughs> sorry, that I did find was this little thing right here. Come here, come here, you. And as you've seen, it was called the Extractinator. I can turn silt and slush into useful things. Yeah, well, it's pretty useful, all right. And we'll just place that back, and I'll show you right in here. We got uh, some ores and some gems, stuff like that there. So platinum tungsten ore, uh, some sapphires, copper, tin, gold, so I guess the best so far I've come across is this, uh, the platinum, unless that one's better, I don't know, but, um, so yeah, you get some pretty neat things out of the silt there, so, and the uh, slush that you get from the sand, the snow biome, so that's pretty awesome, and I'm pretty looking forward to that. I found this new suit, too, in the, uh, pyramid, it's a pharaoh outfit. It's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. It almost looked like a dress at first, and I was like, "Well, is that for a chick?" But you know, no, it, it's pretty good. So there's some stuff that I got here, uh, all pretty crap. I don't probably gonna sell it all. Then there's the living wood wand. I don't know how to use magic or any of that stuff yet, so I'll have a look at that really soon. Um, what else did I get here? I got some vanity items, a viking helmet, this is the stuff that I had last time, and I got this platinum crown when um, that new update happened, and I changed my wooden helmet to a crown, so a platinum crown, That's so I did get something decent out of it, um, <laughs> I guess. And then here I got some more stuff, so arcane shackles, just kind of garbage. Um, this one's, mm, where's the one? This to give me like 20 magic. Oh, there, 20 mana. There we go. That's, so that one's pretty good. Uh, I'll probably end up keeping that, and I'll end up keeping this uh, movement speed just for now. Allows a whole other double jump. Oh, that one's even better than the other one. Oh, never mind. So I'll just switch these two then. That's awesome. Alright, so I can sell that one then. Ha! Alright. So here's some different things I got down here now. I got some menacing ice skates. Uh, provides extra mobility on ice. Ice won't break when you fall on it and it gives you plus four to damage. And this one's really cool too. <clears throat> Allows uh, you to like grip the side of the wall and slide down really slowly. It's freaking cool, man. Freaking cool. So. If I can go to a side here, so you can like, wait, ah, come on, so you can kind of like, oh no, that's really going to hurt, <laughs> uh, anyways, you can jump off of it, anyway, that's really neat, see, there we go, there's that better, And the, but you can jump off and you can constantly climb up like that, so it's pretty cool for climbing up like walls and stuff. Um, I can't believe I fell off that though. <laughs> so I got uh, some ores and stuff like that in here. I'm trying to get myself organized in this map a little bit there, so doing not too, too, too bad. And here I got my smelted stuff. And up here I got stuff for potions. I think these rooms are all a little temporary at the moment until I can figure out like exactly how uh, how many different little stations I'm gonna need and stuff like that. So, but it's a good little start. Good little start. Um, some new statues I got here. I got uh, let's see, uh, the imp statue. I got the skeleton statue. I already had that one. Um, I already had that one. I think I got the hammer statue. I just got the heart one. Uh, I got the chest one. And I think that was it. So, yeah, I kind of looking forward to those and try and uh, see if I can do the mechanics with all those things there. That's going to be kind of neat. So, I still have some things to light up, obviously. Um, got a bunch of gems in here. And here I just got potions. So that's pretty wicked. So, um, hmm. 
that's pretty much all it. Oh, I did beat the eyeball, the big eyeball guy. And I got some nice banners. This one's the flying fish. That one is the slimes. And this one is the undead one, I believe. Or zombie. Yeah, zombie ones. So yeah, that's pretty kind of cool. I might do something different on the outside, like, you know, hang them up from, like, these things right here, there, if I get a whole bunch of them eventually, instead of having them on the inside, maybe I can hang them up there, make them look really cool. Um, other than that, uh, eventually I might be changing the color of my torches, too, and seeing how a uh, different color lighting might work. Um, so I'm going to have a villagers here, I'm going to make another six villagers up on this side here like that. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here. I'm going to have another six villagers up on this side and then probably continue the middle of my castle the way I've been doing it here. Like I'll have like, like this is the middle. And then I'd be able to just kind of like go up into my different stages that I'm going to have there. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we'll take a look at my map. And uh, you see that my castle is kind of looking like an uh, upside down pyramid. <laughs> kind of funky, actually. Uh, so I've been investigating a little bit of the area down underneath of me. And I went over this way and I started investigating down a tunnel just for the heck of it. And I ended up way the hell down there. So I did find some two rooms with some stuff in it and all that good stuff. Uh, I didn't make it very much farther over there. And on this side, this is where my pyramid was. And over here was my corrupt area. So my corrupt area is not that far away from me, which is kind of nice. Um, down right in here, the first level on the left, uh, there's a demon altar there. So that's pretty awesome. I don't have to go far for a demon altar. Um, so that's pretty much well it for my my map, my new map anyways, that I've done. Here's my piggy bank. Got myself a platinum and a, some gold coins. So my money is slowly building up now and I've exited and saved quite a few times and my money's all been there and it hasn't glitched out and given me crap. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy, happy, happy. Alright, so in today's episode, now that I've done showing you around to the new place, I think what we should do is try to reach at least one of the sides of the map, which would be kind of cool. And there's this really nice option, I don't know if this was there before, but say you got like full inventory, and instead of like going on to something and then going in here and say, oh, I need to find a place for this and this and that, well, you see how I got two mushrooms here, and you got 40 there. Well, like I said, I don't know if this stuff was here before, but you click on stacked. Poof, bam, look at that. Oh, it goes right into there. That's freaking amazing. I love it. It's going to make me for emptying stuff out so much faster. Instead of finding what you need all the time, you just go up to the chest. Bam, stack. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. Looking forward to that. I really like how you can go up and down the sides here now. And here's something else. You know how these edges are kind of like really angly? But you can make those edges. Check this out. This is something I need, I friggin' found out. Um, so if you want to take the edge off of that, you can hammer the corner. And you can make it a little less square. <laughs> and give it some some fixing up there so you can make it look like that it's pretty neat but when you mine the whole block like you get the whole you actually get the whole block back so that's pretty neat i enjoyed that little extra feature that i i figured out i figured it out by complete accident <laughs> so it can kind of give your build a little bit more or less of a square look to it when you're uh when you're doing stuff so you can kind of make like nice looking stair flow going all the way up so there's a little tip for y'all anyway, something I have noticed about that. Uh, now, what, let's go rock this place and go find out uh, what the hell's on the other side of that, uh, well, um, the corrupt area, because I haven't been over there yet, and I didn't have my grappling hook the last time I went, and I didn't have this really sexy double jump, so I think I'm going to be going 
a lot farther than I did before. So there's my pyramid. So as you see, I've been here before, so it's been kind of like lit up a little bit there. That's going to be kind of helpful for later on. I really like lighting this up there. It's... Ah, die. Demon eye. Screw you. Screw you, I said. Ah, nice try. <clears throat> oh, now we're getting to an area I haven't done yet. Come on, plant. I gotta get off of that. I hate when that happens. Whew. Oh, that's a nice place to put it. There we go. So I didn't have any this way. Haha, -ha, nice try. I'm gonna beat you first. It's pretty good. I'm gonna get some stars and finish off uh, the amount of... Ah, no, let me place that. Dink. Ah, well, what am I hitting you with torches for? That's not gonna work. Hmm. Alright. Go over here. Go over here. As you know, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but goldfish can walk all of a sudden. You can see them on land walking. Now that's a really weird thing. Hope I see that later on again, just so I can show you. That's really freaky. I think it only happens during the daytime there, but... Oh yeah, here is our corrupt. Awesome. Look at those vile mushrooms. Those will come in handy later on. When I can go fight that uh, devourer of worlds, I think that's what it was. It was pretty easy to beat. They gave me some nice loot the last time I was there, so... Aha, yes. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, so... Let's get some torches out here. Ah. Oh. Die, die, die. I know it's dark. Come on. One more. Oh, look, there's so many of you. Where did you all come from? Must have been hiding around a corner or something. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wanna play? I kick your butt. There we go. Alright, so what's next here? Oh, can't place it in the water. There we go. I should go to should I go down with it? Go investigate what's down there. Hmm. I'll save that for later. Let's just try to reach the end of the world here. Oh yeah. Some stars. It's a pretty big corrupt area actually. There we go. So now I think this is probably close to like being a jungle. Oops. A little overdoing it with the torches there. But I got lots on me so I should be okay. Come on, place a torch. Place a damn torch. Alright. Too many guys around. Too many guys. Okay, so this would be the jungle. Got my confirmation from that jungle bat that was there. Ah. Seriously, people. Leave me alone. There we go. Crowd control, Carib. Oh my lord, look at this. No control here. Uh, am I out of the water yet? Nope. There we go. Water. Oh, little zombies. Goodbye. Uh, let me place that torch. Oh, seriously? There we go. This is let me place torches now. Oof. What's this thing? Kill it? No. Oh. Oh, nice grab. Look at that. Are we at the end yet? Hope not. That was a pretty short jungle. Hmm. Nice. Okay, now I think we're at the end. Yeah, now we're at the end. End of the line. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's go down inside the jungle, see what we can find there. See if there's anything good. Since we're here, right? And then maybe we might work ourselves way down to the corrupt. Uh, we'll see. Start off with the jungle first. Alright. Oh, what the hell are you? 
Get away from me. It's dark. I don't like the dark. Can't see in the dark. Get over here. Let me kill you. There we go. Perfect. What the hell is this thing? Uh huh. Oh, we had them before. There, I can get you though. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Alright, over here. Nice. Light this place up a bit there. Alright, serious. Place a torch. I don't like how it does that. Not placing the torch. We got a boomerang. Alright. Decent stuff, decent stuff. Hey, stop! I want that chest. Saves me from making them, right? Like the gold ones, though. Gold in the, uh, oh, I can place them on a wall. Uh, leave me alone. What did I do to you? Alright. Ah, uh, ah, uh, more of that. Another snatcher. Ah, oh, nice. Ah! Uh, Okay, I thought I died there for a second. I was like, no. Click my stick. Oh, interesting place for a chest. Hmm. There we go. Oh, blowpipe. Some more torches. Alright. Not a bad, not a bad, not a bad. Alright. More here. Hmm. It's cobwebs. not good. Potion. Alright. I can use some of this though. Ah, salt. Ah. There's a mosquito around me. That's not good. Get away from me. There you go. Ah. Torch. Torch. Hmm. Ah. Piranhas. Get over here. There you go. I'm gonna get over there. Get up here. What the heck is that? Oh no. Ah, oh, spiky jungle one. Get away from me. Oh, oh there's a statue there too. Ah, oh, just going farther down. I don't like these spiky ones. Ah, bastard. You are not gonna kill me. I refuse to die by you. Spiky slime. No! No! Get away, I thought I had my boomerang on. Ah, come on, come on, jump over there. Do it again. No, no, no. Did I kill him? Yeah, I got him. But now there's like something else up there. A man eater. Hmm. Can I get kill that? Am I hitting it? That's right. You ain't eat me. Man eater. Oh, come on. Let me shoot you. There we go. Excellent. Now what is this? A boomerang statue. Interesting. Alright. It's not what I was trying to do. Let's try to get back up here. I want to try to get that green thing over here. <coughs> see if I can get up here. Find out what the hell that is. And then we're going on about 20 minutes of the episode. So I think I'm going to call that an episode after I get this little green thing over here. Not to make it too long. What are you? Come on. Alright, whatever it was, it disappeared. Can I kill you? I will now. Screw you. Screw you and your spiky shit. Ah, damn, I hate those things. 
So what was that green thing? Vines. Ooh, and jungle spores. Was that it? Could that have been it? Looks glowy. Hmm. I don't know. I think that looks about it. Let's... Uh, I guess that's because that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's see if we can just go a little bit farther. I want to see if there's anything else down here. There's got to be something else. Leave me hanging like that. Ooh, a dragon hornet? Interesting. Oh, he pitches stuff too. You're not cool. Not at all. Oh, oh, bye, man eater. Oh, what's this? I want this. I want this, and I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm poisoned, or I was, anyways. Is that that more of that spory stuff? Yeah, jungle spores. That's what that was. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. So I think I'm just about overwhelcomed here. All this stuff. Oh, nice platinum. I think all these monsters want my ass. They want it bad, too. Ah, get away, get away. Screw it. Come here. Let me home. Yeah, I'm out of there. I didn't die. Ah, oh, phew. Alright, so we get to add at least one more gold to our collection. That's pretty good. And I found some more stuff, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, boomerang statue. Eh, whatever. There's statues. So that was pretty much well it for today's episode. Tomorrow, well, maybe tomorrow. Or maybe the next day, I don't know. Well, as soon as I get time anyways, I'll do up another one. And we'll try to investigate a little bit more of this land. Uh, so, until next time, everybody, peace, take care, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.